Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And we're gonna make some weird glitchy stuff like this. That's gonna be fun. So, <laughs> let's go ahead. So yeah, this is really cool. I've been getting some requests on a couple of social media things where we post like glitchy, you know, patches in Ableton, and this is one of them. And I've been using expression control, which is new to me. It's been around apparently for a long time as a Max for Light device. If you don't know what it is, it's inside Ableton, and it's right here. And it looks like this, and it has a bunch of really cool, uh expressions if you will of midi right so velocity mod wheel pitch bend aftertouch and there's random which i'm sure judging by the stuff you see on this channel or if you follow the music you know that's what we're going to get into so yeah a lot of fun and we're using it right now to power a, a little rack here that's made up of the uh, max for live instruments the ds uh drum synth here uh and yeah, it's really cool. It's built all in Max for Live. So all this stuff is powered by Max, specifically, you know, built in Max for Live devices that you can open up and it's really fun. Um, but we really only want the random for our purposes um, for now. And that's what we've done. And this video is inspired by Ned Rush. And that's uh, something, you know, someone rather who's really inspired me to like go check kind of stuff like this out in Ableton and make music like this. So it, it's been a lot of fun. And I hope that you guys have fun doing this. So yeah. Um, what you heard right now, really cacophonous, lots of cool stuff. It's great fodder for like sampling and whatnot. Individually, we have a few different things and I'm gonna try as best to take off some of this stuff here so we can actually just, um, you know, see if, you know, we can get a sense of what it's doing because it's, it's kind of hard to break it down. But essentially we have just a kick, a hi-hat snare and we have the FM and we have a sampler. And on the sampler, we have one sample here. And we'll go ahead and just cut my voice out for a little second here. And I just want to play, if we can. It's kind of brutal. It's a little sound of like breaking glass, right? And so the idea, as you can see right here, is that um, as the MIDI's coming in on a channel, Essentially what's happening, we'll go to the snare here, is that those notes are getting processed and then it's giving you random values. And you can then map those values, kind of like the LFO. So inside the drum rack, to make it even more generative, something that we've done is actually taken this here pattern and brought down the chance on all of them. So I just like set kind of random patterns, uh, random values for each, for this, uh, each of the hits in this pattern then just did control A and kind of like lowered them all the way, or, you know, you can raise them. I kind of left them somewhere in the middle, kind of lowish. Um, I like doing that for a reason I'll show you later, because when you bring up the tempo to something a lot higher, it's cool because when you have more sparse hits, it, it sounds really cool at a higher tempo. It makes them for, for some really cool glitches. So yeah, so there's that. And uh, so essentially what you do for this thing is you program a beat that might be really simple. And then it's up to you, really. Uh, in this case, I threw beat repeat through a spectral time and then sandwiched it between another beat repeat. There's an OTT on here, and that essentially has the amount lowered a little bit, the output heightened, and the bass lowered a bit. I uh, have a drum bus, just slam it with some drive. I've got it on the medium setting with compression, trimmed a little bit, transients turned up, a little bit of boom, and I, I think I lowered the frequency just a bit. Limiter on the end and negative three just to slam it more and a bass for the mono for the low end signals. And yeah, it's what you get. So if I bring in each of the elements by on their own here, I can try it with the kick first. All right, so you can see we're not getting a lot of them. But that's cool because what's happening here is that you see these kicks that are going on. Essentially, all these kicks here just have probability, right? So if we were to highlight 
we were to highlight all these kicks and bring up the probability all the way. Right? And so that sounds dope already. And if you want something a little bit uh, more four on the floor and a bit more, let's say, repetitive and constrained because you want to sample it or whatever, that, that's a way to do it. And it's really cool. And if we go to the kick here, uh, we can see that every time we come in with a MIDI note, we actually have it assigned to one of the parameters on the kick drum, changing the attack, the drive, the harmonics, the click turning off and off, uh, the decay and the envelope. So it's really cool. And we go back now though, and turn this probability all the way down. Or maybe not all the way down, but pretty low now. Right, we'll get a few hits here and there. So once we have all these other instruments and all of them have the same idea going on, right? Each of them has that. Essentially what we get then is a kind of weird cacophony of sounds, right? So we get this. Mind you, the FM, uh, much uh, inspire, inspired here by Ned Rush has a reverb on it. So that's cool. So you have like these, uh, you know, kind of more or less dynamic static elements. And then you have the FM that's being modulated wildly, of course, and it has reverb on it. So then you get this kind of sound. And you can see all, the, all of these notes have probability lowered already. So already we're getting like a really cool generative rhythm just straight from Ableton with the probability. So I really dig that. Okay, now something cool that I want to show you is this can then be applied to anything, right? So what I did is I took a beat repeat on here, uh, another one, just with different settings to really chop it up. And I took a spectral time. And all of these things are, a few, or quite a few of the parameters on here are being modulated by different hits. Some of them are coming in from the hi-hats, some of them are coming in from the FM. So for example, if we go to the, let's say the spectral time, and we look just look at the dry wet, we can right click and go to the controlling device, and it'll show us which device is controlling it. We have here the dry wet total, and I have it set to about 50%, 53% maximum. So. Yeah, you get the idea. You can map to anything. You can go wild with that and just make nonsense. So that's a big inspiration. And then you can call that if you want. For me, though, I personally just dig it like that. So let's go ahead and take a listen to the whole thing now with everything with the beat repeat, the spectral time, and the other one on top of it. kind of gnarly at the end there but that's kind of cool another thing i like to do is just like speed this up like a bunch so let's just bring this up to like 180 and or even more just like 200 and i'm gonna go ahead and take this probability on everything highlight it and bring it all the way down like i was telling you earlier and let's see what this sounds like I think that's super sick. So try that, you know, with anything. You can throw samplers in here, you can throw samples, kick drums, anything, and then you can parameter, you know, modulate anything. And down here, you can set the amount on each one of the center point, how much it's gonna offset, and then you have the minimum and max of how much it's gonna affect it, and you can do log or linear shape, the rise and fall, and you can even modulate extra, like the shape and curve of the actual, like, uh, shape of it. So it's really crazy. You can get really in-depth, modulate your modulators, all that good stuff. Uh, I thought it was really useful for me to make one that was just a random, that had all of them in a random, because I always use it. So yeah, I hope you have a lot of fun. You know, let's go with the super slow jam, because I always like to see what things sound like, like really different tempos. And let's see what we get. And I'll leave you guys with this jam on the way out. Yeah, have a great day, y'all. Thanks for watching.